Arts. My name is Rory Pullins, and I'm the head of school and CEO. And we are so honored and privileged to be in this partnership with the U.S. Dream Academy in presenting the Emmy Award winning actor Charles Dutton at the Kennedy Center this upcoming March 28th and 29th. This partnership is so important and the work that Mr. Dutton is doing with us is so important because one, it's all about giving back. Giving back to a community that has shaped. Mr. Dutton is an actor and has shaped the U.S. Dream Academy and Duke Ellington School of the Arts as an institution. It's also about giving back to young people who deserve to see role models who were, at one point in time, not very much unlike themselves, who have gone on through embracing education to achieving the accomplishments and goals that they have done. U.S. Dream Academy and Duke Ellington School of the Arts are all about providing inspiration and hope and dreams for young people who have a passion about succeeding in life. And so we are privileged to be able to be working together in this particular event. And we hope that um, the larger community benefits tremendously from not only the presentation, but the work that Duke Ellington and the Dream Academy does on a daily basis. At this time, I'd like to bring forward to you the executive director of the U.S. Dream Academy, Diane Wallace. Talk about the partnership. First. Well, um, uh, I don't know it of anything more noble in this uh, day and age, particularly at this time in our country. I don't know of anything more noble than wanting or helping kids or helping youth. I mean, um, I mean, without the seriousness and commitment of the teachers and adults and volunteers, uh, we're at a crisis and epidemic in a lot of communities across the country. So those people who um, commit to that and, um, uh, and stay with that, I'm totally in awe. So um, when I first uh, read about the uh, U.S. Dream Academy um, and found out that they are involved with kids particularly that have incarcerated parents. And I thought, well, I need to check this organization out and find out what they, they, do, they do. And lo and behold, I got an invitation that they were honoring me before I knew anything about them. And uh, I went in and accepted the award, and I saw how classy the organization was. It started on time. 
real smooth and they were honoring a, an array of uh, so-called important people. Uh, that was impressive and all of those important people showed up. Um, uh, it was a very classy affair. So I thought, I said, well, what can I do um, to uh, be a part of the organization? How can I help out? Um, um, how can I get involved? And so I thought, well, maybe um, since this, uh, uh, my kind of story would, would fall right into the work that they do, then maybe I would do my show and uh, perform in all 10 of the cities that they have the organizations in. And um, that's how it all came about. Um, uh, this is the second leg of it. We were in Houston a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I, think, um, I think we're in Philadelphia next. I don't know what date that is, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I think, um, I think uh, the story is about the transformational power of the arts. I happen to be a testament of, to that, so um, I wanted to be able to share that story at the same time. All proceeds go to the U.S. Music Academy. All proceeds. I don't take a nickel of it. Um, so we're hoping to make money. I, and I've told all my family and friends not to ask me for any comps. You know, pay the price because it is a fundraiser. So I'll take any questions uh, you guys have. Mr. Dutton, uh, uh, Bobby Marvin with HughVoices.com. With all the arts programs disappearing from around the country, how vital is it to have schools such as Duke Ellington in a community? Well, man, you, you know, you, you, you're talking to a trooper here. I, you know, I can get the Republicans mad at this, but I happen to think the government should totally, absolutely, unequivocally subsidize the arts. Period. It's too rich of a country not to. It's shameful the way the arts are being taken out of schools. For what? For what reason are the, are the arts being taken out of school? Um, there, there's, there, there's, there, there's transformation in the arts. If you had more places like the Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts or performing arts complexes around the country in those particular communities that are undergoing poverty and strife and crime and drugs, if you had more arts complexes, there'd be less crime, less carnage, and less devastation. That, that's proven. That's, that's, that, that, that's, that's absolutely a fact. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's important because uh, the arts and, and what the Duke Ellington does, uh, it's, it's getting kids to discover or rediscover their, their own humanities. It's getting kids to look at their parents, regardless of what their parents are going through, from actually being enrolled in the arts. They can look at their parents and their community and understand what's wrong. That's what the arts do. It just ain't about hitting the trumpet. It just ain't about doing a, doing, a, doing a dance step or acting in a scene. It's about understanding the world. That's why. That's why it's actually sacrilegious that the government is doing this. Under whatever president. Including the current one. That more money isn't put into the arts. So, you're talking to the converter here. You know, um, uh, I think there should be arts complexes on every street corner. I read this play and I 
said, I've just discovered what I was born to do while I'm on this planet. So I went 